This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. It's Obehave with Arden Moore. This show that teaches you how to have harmony in the household with your pets. Join Arden as she travels coast to coast to help millions better understand why cats and dogs do what they do. Get the latest scoop on famous faces. They're perfectly pampered pets in Who's Walking Who in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails. Garner great pet tips and have a doggone fur-flying fun time. So get ready for the pause and applause as we unleash your all-behave host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome to the O Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Now, for this episode, we are going to be burying our claws for a good cause. That's because our special guest today is nailing it. Yes, I did pick those words on purpose. She nails it on Broadway and on TV. She's currently starring on a new hit show called Claws. It airs Sunday nights on TNT, so everyone, give pause and applause and maybe a little claws and retract those claws for the multi-talented actress, Jen Lyon. Welcome to the show, Jen. Hello. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> good. Okay, good, good. Now, folks, Jen is part... Oh, you're welcome. I work really hard on those because I think you're worth it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. You can blush on the air. Nobody will see. It's our secret. Okay, great. Now, folks, Jen is part of the all-star cast I mentioned of Claws, and it includes Nisi Nash and Carrie Preston. You guys know those folks. And the show is basically about five women who work at a nail salon in South Florida, but it isn't one of those little sweet, peaceful show about Manny Pet. I mean, we're talking murder, money laundering, drug dealing, and a lot more. And Jen's going to explain what her role is in the show, Claws. But first, you know the deal. We got to pay for the show, so we got to take a commercial break. So sit and stay. We'll be right back. Time for a pause. For furry ones, actually, sit and stay. All Behave will be right back. Molly, here's your dinner. (coughs) Zeus, that's not your food. Don't let that happen to your precious cat. Elevate your cat's eating experience with the Cat Tree Tray. The Cat Tree Tray keeps your cat's food off the floor and conveniently located on the cat tree. It's the perfect way to eat. It's a beautiful wrought iron tray that easily attaches to your cat tree and keeps dogs and other critters out of your cat's dish. A must for multi-pet households. There's a 6-inch tray for large bowls and a 4-inch tray for smaller bowls. Purchase your cat tree tray today. Go right now to CatTreeTray.com. That's CatTreeTray.com. C-A-T-T-R-E-E-T-R-A-Y.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. All Behave is back with more tail-wagging ways to achieve harmony in the household with your pets. Now back to your fetching host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome back to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Now, our special guest today is an actress extraordinaire. Her name is Jen Lyon. That's Jen with two N's, who happens to play Jen. Is it pronounced Husser or Husser? Oh, it's pronounced Husser. Yeah, it's Jen with one N. You're playing, you are Jen with two N's, and you're playing Jen with one N on the new show, Claws, on TNT. Is that ever confusing for you with your identity? Yeah, absolutely. It's a real stretch. (laughs) And to continue the name game, we both happen to have dogs with really cool names. And the name of our dogs are? Is your dog named Kona? Yes. <laughs> oh, that is exciting. I know. And I call her Ice Cream Kona. You're very nice, oh, nice no. Kona. So now you can sing that to your I Kona. I a similar thing where I threaten to a duplicate DNA copy of Kona and call her Kona. Oh, Kelowna. Now that's a good one. What kind of dog? Yeah, what's the I'm four? Like, I'm going to throw you out and get a Kelowna. What is Kona like? What's the 411? What kind of dog? How old? All that stuff. And how did you happen to she, get Kona? She is a black pit bull mix. All right. And she is turning 11 in like 10 days. We got her from a shelter up in Harlem called Biscuits and Bath. And, oh, I know uh, that place. I've been yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she actually was this boy's dog. 
that I was doing comedy with, his name is Paige Jensen, and he got her. She was very sick. And we were like, oh, congratulations, you got a dead dog, whatever. Yeah. But then I watched him take care of her and nurse her back to life, and now he's my fiancé. Well, it's a double win. Uh, no, it's a triple win, right? Why? Your fiancé, <laughs> you, and Kelowna Kona. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're right. We're a tiny little three fun. So how old is Kona? She's 11. Oh, wow. And how much does she weigh? But she looks like a puppy in the face because she moisturizes. Oh, I, I didn't know she was doing puppy Botox or something. Yeah, yeah. She probably weighs like 29 pounds, 30 oh, pounds. Oh, she's kind of small. Yeah, yeah. And what's yeah, her personality? Little, well, she is so kind and cuddly and loving. Like, always wants to be right beside you, sit in your lap. But then if you leave her alone for too long, she becomes the destroyer. And she has uh -oh. eaten her doors, walls, pillows. One time she ate a down comforter. And we came home, and it was like that last scene in Edward Scissorhands. There was just feathers <laughs> all in the air, and she was just sitting in it like, she's lucky she's cute. Yeah, and it sounds like she's very, very bonded to you, so she has a little touch of uh, separation anxiety. Yeah, just a touch. Just a touch, enough to make uh, the down pillow <laughs> rain like a firestorm, yeah. Uh, yeah, totally. But she's so loving. So like, once, you get to, once she knows you, she's just so loyal and, and protective and sweet. Well, I'm really glad you got a pity mix. I have a special fondness for them because don't you think they, they, when they smile, they got that meaty cheek smile. They got like, I think they're one of the breeds that has like the best smile. I'm like a meaty cheek Kona smile. What do you think? Yeah, I know. It makes you want to like bite them in the face and mess with them. That's exactly <laughs> it. Well, it makes me want to just give my meager, you know, bank account over to them. I'm like, just take it. Just take it. Go get some biscuits. Have some fun. You know, get a mani-pedi <laughs> at the biscuits and bath, you know. So is there any possibility that your Kona will ever get to have any kind of walk-on roll and claws? Wow. You know what? I don't I mean, you got renewed. Now. I don't want to. Yeah, I no. heard you got. Congratulations. So exciting, Can I share it? Say it. You guys were on just now, and you've already been renewed for season two. Yeah. Congratulations. It's so exciting. I would like for her to be on the show, but I don't want to be a stage mom. You know, I don't want to push her into <laughs> something she doesn't want to do. And right now she's really into lacrosse and softball. So oh, I just okay. don't want to like, you know, I want to be like Mama Rose from Gypsy. No, no, no. You know, and I bet she's a pretty good batter. Is she a catcher? What's her position? Shortstop. Okay. See, she should have been a golfer. Then she could have a really good swing called the dog leg to the right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you know what? It sounds like Kona may be a multi-talented and have some more talents that you're just getting out of her. Yeah, you're right. Like maybe she can write herself. We don't even know. We've never even given her a pencil. And folks, Jen Lyon is one busy lady. She comes from North Carolina. She goes to New York and she nails it. We got to use that word again. Not only on uh -huh, TV, like but you also are on Broadway. And that's, that's not an easy gig. You got a live audience. So can you give us a little idea of what motivated you to get into the acting field? And good Lord, to be on Broadway in front of a bunch of folks looking eyeballs back at you? Well, I grew up in the church. My dad's a preacher. So mm -hmm. I grew up like, doing church plays and... You know, when you're a preacher's kid, all the eyes are on you anyway. You know, That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think I got used to it, and I cut my teeth on the theater. I went to a school for theater, so I did a lot of regional theater before I ever even did Broadway. And so the, the immediacy of the audience and the fact that I really think that theater is one of our last sort of non-exclusive rituals. You know what I mean? Like anybody yeah. can go. I mean, Broadway is too highly priced, but at the <laughs> theaters, like you can just go and sit in the dark and watch this story, and it's this odd thing that we do, and I, I think it's real special. Well, you've also been on casts that have won Tonys. It's the, uh, let me make sure I'm doing my homework right, The Coast of Utopia, and, you know, of course, Larry David's uh, Fish in the Dark, right? Yeah, The Coast of Utopia won um, 11 Tonys. It set the record for the amount of Tonys won by a straight play. And it was wow. a trilogy, so just being in the room with Tom Stoppard every day and, and all these amazing actors like Ethan Hawke and Billy Crudup and Martha Clinton, like it was just, it was amazing. And you got, uh, what about uh, Fish in the Dark, the Larry David one, the comedy? It's that was so great. Larry David touched my boob every night. So that's really amazing. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. The, same, the same the one, same or did he alternate? Give me yep, equal. Same one, always the okay. same one. Always okay. the same one. So Fish people really want to know, is it the left or the right? Do you remember? The left. 
Okay, okay. So you didn't want the that booty to be left out. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm glad we're on radio, and that is fun. But so, all right, so the daughter of a preacher, I know it sounds like a, a song coming here, but you make a good point. You've already been kind of vetted by a, a discerning audience, and so you got your chops in church, but it's not yeah. easy making a living being an actress, is it? No, it's not, and I always had day jobs. I worked in ice cream shops, bakeries. I was a waitress. I um, dressed in a moose costume and handed out flyers. Like, I just always had this. I mean, before I did claws, I was working at a pizza restaurant, you know? Like, I had just done a Lonergan play, but I was trying to make ends meet because the theater doesn't pay that well. And you know what I mean? You just always got to hustle. So what was the moose costume for? It was for this company called Emac and Bolios. It was uh-huh. an ice cream shop from Boston, and their mascot was a moose. And so I wore the moose costume and handed out flyers for it and was accosted by children. When you say accosted, what do you mean specifically? I mean, there's something about being a giant fuzzy moose that makes kids want to kind of like punch you and yeah. beat you. It's like you're not a real thing. It's like you're kind of a monster. Yeah. That's- yeah. Who's Oh, the dinosaur. Who's the dinosaur that the kids seem to like up until age five and then they want to kill him? Oh. Barney? Oh, you're talking about Barney. Yeah, Barney. so you probably felt like a little bit like Barney, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I felt a little bit like Barney. And we're going to go from this to success. So I also read that you got your equity card, but you were in sort of a musical called Embarrassment. Yeah. Did I do my homework? Yeah, it was great. Tell yeah, me about that. Great. What was that about? You know, the first job, uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson was in it, who's the redhead on Modern Family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah, yeah. It was in Philadelphia, because we were just both like New York actors then. It was in Philadelphia at the Wilma Theater, huh? and it was this gorgeous musical about Henry James. Oh, it was, yeah. It like, funny and odd and just full of great character actors, and yeah, I remember walking into the apartment, because you get housing with regional theater, and I just cried. I just couldn't believe I was being paid to like wear a wig and march around and sing songs. And what, did it stay on a while or what happened to embarrassment? Yeah, That's yeah, always it a, stayed on, it stayed on all through its run. And okay, uh, good. I don't know if it had a life beyond there, but like it did really well in Philadelphia. All right. Cause you know, it's kind of dangerous naming a play or a TV show embarrassment. <laughs> yeah, you were brave right. doing that. Now you're let's right. talk a little bit about Claws. Now I've seen a couple of episodes. One, I love the title, Bat Shit. Um, and that was with, yeah, DC uh, and her brother. And we're not going to spoil it because people, you got to go TNT, watch it Sunday nights, but you can also go online and see some of the already aired episodes, right? Yes, that's right. You can go on the TNT app and right. um, you can watch them on there or you can buy it on iTunes. You can buy the whole season for like 20 bucks. Yeah, and I think it's worth it because you had some dance move, girl. Oh, uh, thanks. Remember that? Can you? Well, that won't spoil the plot, but I forgot the name of the song you guys were playing, but there were you and Carrie and Nisi and I can't remember who else were there, and you were all celebrating. We're not spoiling oh, yeah, anything. Karuchi. Yeah, we do. There's all these surreal moments in Claws, like there might be a synchronized water ballet or a choreographed music video kind of in the middle of everything, and you kind of, it just makes the world even weirder, which I think is pretty apropos for Florida. Yeah, I used to actually, uh, years ago, I worked at the Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel. I was an investigative reporter in the late 90s, and uh, I never, ever, ever tired of any kind of news because there's a lot of wacky stories. That's why, who is it, Carl Hyacin from the Miami Herald, he's written so many crazy books, but they're basically based on fact because crazy things happen in Florida, right? Yeah, it's crazy there. A man just got arrested for, like, taking a, like, a, school desk in the middle of the street and eating pancakes. Just one of these pancakes in the middle of the street. I guess he had to IHOP out of there when the cops came, right? Oh. All right, all right, all right. That's so cool. (laughs) So for the folks that want to know, I mean, this isn't just like a little fun, ha-ha comedy, because every time I think I'm getting into the groove, kaboom, there's something that's happening on Claws. So what attracted you to that show and particularly to playing, I guess, Desna's best buddy, Jen, with one N? I think what attracted me to the show was unemployment. Oh, Um, that's always essential. Yeah, I love that. I love your honest (laughs) answer. I'm not kidding. Okay. also, the script was wonderful. It's like all about female badassery. And a lot of times as a woman, you get a script and it's, you're like the accessory to the man that's doing the things. And in this show, the women are doing the things and that makes it really exciting. 
Well, we're going to talk a little bit more with Jen Lyon. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but we're going to get into that show called Claws that is good enough that has been already picked up for season two. It airs Sundays on TNT, but we don't have to wait for Sundays anymore. We live in a multimedia world. So as she mentioned, there's so many different ways you can get your claws on. So everybody just sit and stay. We'll be right back. Time for a walk on the red carpet, of course. All Behave will be back in a flash right after these messages. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com We wear fur and we're damn proud of it. What? And our four legs and our tail and we go to the bathroom outside. Well, we may not be too proud of that. <laughs> Sniff around, then mark your spot right here. Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets on Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hey, this is Catherine Heigl, and you are listening to Miss Arden Moore on Obehave on Pet Life Radio. Tune in for more fantastic ideas and tips for your dogs and cats and pets. We're back from the lot. Just checked the paper and we had a record showing at the box. The letterbox, that is. Now back to Obehave. Here's Arden. Welcome back to the Obehave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. And we're talking today with actress Jen Lyon. She's got a cool dog named Kuna. And she also is on this, the hit show. It's called Claws. She's been on Broadway. She's been on a lot of shows you know, your assembly, let's talk about your castmates. I mean, Carrie Preston, I loved her when she was on The Good Wife. She's that feisty redhead, but she's got her claws out and claws in her character, right? Yeah, Polly is, you know, she looks like she's our illusionist. She looks right. like a sweet little piece of candy, but she's also wearing like a prison monitoring ankle bracelet and she'll just con anybody. She got arrested for conning old people out of their money at St. Pete. Yeah, and she can put the fear of God in you with just one look, doesn't she? I know, right? Yeah, she's a yeah. Communion. Uh, but she's awful in real life. That's what you need to know. She's a very terrible person. She's really? not generous, more yeah. kind, or compassionate. All right, and that's she why she's... Love her dog, Chumley. She's not a pet lover. Do not have her on this show. Okay, we'll make sure, because she's on next. And she was saying nice things <laughs> about you, but I don't know. Oh, she's... Cute. Shoot, Cute. you can say it's a podcast. You can say what you want to say. Dog doo doo. You can say dog doo doo. That's okay. What kind of dog? What's Chumley like? Is, have you met Chumley? Chumley? Oh, I've met Chumley. He came to set a lot. He's oh. this odd little. He's just magical. I don't know what he is. You could just look on her Twitter. I think one of her descriptions of herself is like mother of Chumley. Like she's real crazy about this dog. He looks like a black Q tip mixed with an ottoman. And, you know, I've never had anybody describe a dog that way. A black Q-tip and an ottoman? Yeah. Yeah, like a little footstool. Yeah, yeah. He can pass the furniture. Well, we would call them the uh, canine cocktails. We don't know who their mama or yeah. their daddy dog is. Now, has, has Chemley ever met Kona? No, they've never met because Kona didn't come to New Orleans. But maybe she will next uh-huh. season. I would like to have her there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. How did you like uh, having the set take place in New Orleans? I mean, you have to, it, the show is allegedly being happening in quote South Florida, but you're in a great place to do a show, New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great there. I mean, I it's too hot yeah. for me. Like it's you know, I mean, since we're on a pet show, it really is like living inside a dog's mouth. Hot. Okay. And like, there's just breath. It just feels like breath, canine breath. <laughs> but I love the city. It's like full of like the weirdest, coolest people and shops and the food. We all got super fat because we okay. lived here for like five months and all we did was eat. And it was just wonderful. And the people are so welcoming and it's like a different kind of Southern. I really dug it. Oh, I think so too. Now, being from North Carolina, that's a nice Southern area. But you're right. New Orleans is its own brand, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. It's like a whole other planet. 
It is. I mean, now, I don't know your deal, but have you ever had any of the Blanton bourbon at one of the bars there? Oh, I had all the bourbons. Well, there's a special thing about Blanton in New Orleans. They have a little yeah, horsey. Yeah, there's a horse on oh, top. Horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of the bars, Blanton's used to, like, give out different horses so you could make yeah. a whole racetrack. They would, like, yeah. give you a racetrack or whatever. Yeah, I had that stuff. It's yeah, great. if you get all eight, you are just in. You are like the Blanton babe. Yeah. And then, then Larry yeah. David could never grab your boob without your permission. <laughs> oh, promises, promises. You are the queen. So you love animals. I know this is our show. It's Obehave. I'm very happy you've adopted Kona. But what's your thoughts about, you know, do you help out with any shelters? What's your thoughts about animals? And, and maybe how dogs like Kona help you? Well, I donate to the ASPCA so that those commercials don't haunt me. <laughs> They're ter- that, they make me feel so terrible. I know. Um, she's she's really good at that. get on shelter website and beg my boyfriend to let us get another one. Oh. That's something I do to help. Okay, good. Uh, You're a fiancé now. Come on, step them up, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, uh-huh. I wish we could have more dogs, but, you know, we live in, like, a New York City apartment, and I have to right. be gone a lot, and it's just, you know, you want to be there for them. But, but you got to help me in yeah. all the ways. She's my therapist. She's a tear eater. That's her working class. A tear and, eater? Uh, She's a tear eater. She comes to the tear eating class. All she does is, like, if you're upset, if you cry in front of her, she just has to eat your tears. Yeah, she's just, she's my little best friend. Yeah, I think that's great. You know, I my Kona came from a shelter, and uh, I actually um, teach pet first aid with a real cat and a real dog. And, and we teach kid campers at the ASP, well, it's SPCA in Texas. I'm in Dallas now. So I'm blessed because I took two animals from shelters and they're rocking it. And Casey and Kona, so you picture an orange tabby and a Jack Russell mixed with Whoopi Goldberg hair. I can't give as good of a description as a black Q-tip and Ottoman footstool, but. No, that saw, was pretty good. Yeah, you saw the picture. I don't know if your folks sent her, but we just came back from teaching a bunch of classes in San Diego where I'm from. And we drove 1,400 miles back. So I took a picture of Kona at the wheel. Now, Jen, you're a bright lady. The car is parked. She's got her paws on the steering wheel. Do you think somebody on Facebook wrote, did you make sure she had her seatbelt and harness on? I'm thinking, oh, my God, this person probably lets their dog really drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dangerous. If there's yeah. some serious car safety. Yeah, and, and, and so your Kona's never going to drive, correct? No, no, no. She can't oh. drive. I okay. would let her possibly, like, operate a ride at a water park or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Competitive, but I would never yeah. let her drive a vehicle. Okay. I'm very, very glad to hear that. So what's the season two going to be all about? We can't spoil what's happening with the end of season one. But you've got a really good group of uh, nice assembled cast, and, you're, you know, they're fleshing out everybody's character and where they're coming from. But can you give us any kind of tease about what, what will await us in season two? I mean, I don't really know what's going to happen in season two. I think we'll probably open up a no-kill dog shelter to sort of raise and train animals. That no yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, like something. I'm really appealing to your listeners right now. Oh yeah, you're um, you're working it. Like the the dog from Downward yeah, Dog that it? didn't make it is probably going to join your cast, right? Yep, yeah, that's it. You know, I don't know what's in store. I know that the ladies. Um, a lot of secrets come out. So by the end of the season. The ladies are are even stronger than at the beginning. I mean, their loyalties are tested, but then they're even stronger. And I think the next season we'll see them on many criminal adventures. And uh, do you guys get free Manny Petties on set or what's the deal? Because you guys have, you you cannot have a split nail on that. What? We don't get free Manny Petties. We're the ones doing it. (sighs) How are you with that? How's your skill set on that? I'm brilliant at it. I'm so good at it. We went to nail school. I can do acrylics, gels, stonework. I'm pretty good. I'll be over. How about um, okay, uh, Tony Ellis? Just come All right. over around seven. Okay, and then can I bring Kona, and can Kona get some of your fancy on her nails? Yep. Absolutely. Okay, because yeah, she, she'll I, sit and I, stay. I do small dog. Yeah, do you ever yeah. do any kind of mani-pedi on your Kona? No, I don't think my man would let me. I used to dress her up in different outfits and do photo shoots. Like, I'd be like, now you're Ann Van Croft. And I'd put like, a short brown wig and a turtleneck on her. Yeah. And he would come home, and he just was like, you've got to stop doing that. And how did she react, though? Was she happy? Was she cowering? What was she doing? I don't know. It seemed like she liked it. Like, well, I mean, the getting dressed, she didn't love. But I feel like once she got into it, she really loved the camera. Oh, speaking, I know, I'm glad you're engaged because otherwise everybody would think you were married to Timothy Oliphant because you guys have kind of been in a couple things together, right? Yeah, that's true. He's my other main squeeze. 
Okay, so tell the listeners about your connection with Timothy. Well, we did Justify together, and then we just did the new for a couple seasons, and then uh, we just did the new Kenneth Lonergan play at the Atlantic in the winter. I always get to make out with him and stare <laughs> at his sharp teeth. All right, does and he have any pets? Um, he does. He's got two huge dogs, and he loves dogs, and uh, he's just a wonderful guy all around. So funny and kind, and, you know, we searched for all his flaws, and we found not one. So that's wow. Wow. Well, when you're not in front of the camera on stage or hanging out with Kona, you had a, I guess, a sketch comedy group. I can't even pronounce it, but you produced, in your own words, a pant load shit ton. Tell me about this. Yeah, a real <laughs> shit ton. This is a sketch comedy group called Poik Pack. Okay. The acronym that stands for Pictures of Your Kids Pooping and Crying. We had a lot of viral <laughs> videos and success. But, like, in the last year or so, you know, Ryan moved to L.A., Paige is working at the Times. Like, all our members had to do real work and get money. So yeah, we kind of haven't done anything in a while. But it's, we have a glut of online things if anybody wants to take a look. So, it's, it, so P-O-Y-K-P-A-C, now I know what that stands for. Pictures yeah, of yeah. your kids pooping and crying. So if they go to, like, yeah, Facebook. We want there to be an element of blackmail in the name. Like, even if you don't yeah. have kids, we have pictures of them. And, and we'll do with them what we want. Well, before we uh, have to bid you adieu, is there anything else you want to do, a shout-out, any kind of secret talent of Kona besides Tear Eater you want to tell our 750,000 listeners? Kona? Let's see. She has amazing spin moves, and she gets excited. Okay. She can do five to six spins. Oh, wow. also, she fits her own leash. She carries her own leash. Wow. That's exciting. And then other than that, you know, she can shake. I don't know. She's not... She That's okay. Quality programming. She's very into Downton Abbey. Oh, you know okay. I mean? She's got integrity as an artist. You know, and I like that too. My cone is like me, a little bit of a goofball, but she does a spin. And then I have never had a dog. She's 25 pounds. My last dog was 60 pounds. She will, I tap my shoulders and she will leap into my arms. Now that's cool unless you're brushing something off your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so from one Kona pet parent to another, don't teach your Kona to leap in your arms. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful send dog. She's a great dog. And you're a great lady. And I look to see you in many, many performances when I can afford a Broadway. But I'm thankful that your <laughs> season of Claws got picked up so I can watch it in home on TNT on Sunday nights where I can DVR it or all the other options that we said. But I think you're a great person. You've got a great sense of humor. I have never, you should be a writer. I mean, some of these phrases. Oh, I, I've I do write. Oh, well, I can tell. I nice said that. Is there a book we can uh, have people download their um, bank accounts to get? Nope. It's mostly just sketch comedy. Okay. But well, you do. Line of voice pack. I wrote a lot of those sketches. Okay. And do you have a website? Is it your name or, I don't know, Jen with two N's? Yeah, I have a website, jenlyon.net. Okay. And my Instagram handle is the Jen Lyon, and my Twitter is Miss Jen Lyon. Okay, good, good, good. And if you get really bored, you should go to my Facebook page, Arden Moore. You'll see some crazy videos. And Arden knows pets on YouTube and uh, Instagram because my dog and cat are always doing some things. But oh, you're great. Yeah, we'll be internet pals. How's that? I can virtually pick oh, up oh. your Kona's poop and you can virtually pick up my Kona's poop. That sounds like a real paradise. It is, it is. It's odor free, stain free, and darn it, we love them, right? This sounds perfect. I can't wait. Okay, well, Jen, you're awesome. Everybody, we've been uh, speaking with Jen Lyon. She's on that star cast of Claws that airs on TNT on Sundays. And she has a great dog with a great name named Kona. Yeah. And I also want to take this time to thank my producer, Mark Winter. He makes this show and all the shows on Pet Life Radio rock. We are the largest pet radio network on the planet. I think we're even larger than any pet radio network that's even on Mars, but we have to verify that, wow. uh, Jen. I know we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting to the galaxy. And so until next time, folks, this is your flea free host, Arden Moore, delivering just two words to all you two, three, and four leggers out there. Oh, behave. Coast to coast and around the world, it's All Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All Behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. 
every week on demand only on PetLifeRadio.com.